Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am uh, delighted to rise in support of the Labour Mobility Act. Uh, this is a bill that I have a deep personal interest in, and I think it's hugely important for the future of Alberta's economy, and it could be for Canada's economy. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the dream of Confederation was, first and foremost, of an economic union uh, in 1867, and when Alberta acceded to the Federation as a province in September of 1905, it did so with the expectation of entering an economic union. But regrettably, in this federation, we see more restrictions on the movement of goods, services, and people than amongst the 28 sovereign member states of the European Union. That, Mr. Speaker, I submit is a uh, betrayal of the vision of confederation, and it has very real life consequences for people. It makes us all poorer. Every restriction on the movement of good services and, and people uh, has an economic cost, and those costs add up enormously. In fact, some economists have estimated that the total uh, negative economic impact of interprovincial barriers to uh, good services and labour it could be as quantified by as much as $130 billion dollars in, uh, in cost to our economy, and tens and tens of thousands of jobs. The Labour Mobility Act, Mr. Speaker, is a bold and historic effort by Alberta, should it be passed, to effectively strike down any remaining barriers to labour mobility for the province of Alberta in welcoming Canadians from the other nine provinces.